Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are downloading and installing your Football Manager 24 logos in three easy steps. So step one, go to rylab.com like this. You'll see this screen, find your language, you click 64 bit and that will download to your downloads folder. You find your downloads folder, download the software and then after that we find the logos. So we come into Google, we type in FM24 logos. I'm going to go with sortitoutside.com. .net. You guys can go whichever you want. On Sort It Out, you do have to make an account on there. It's free. So I'm in the logo section and I'm going to click the FMG standard logos mega pie. You guys can pick whichever you want. You can look through that. No problem. After that, we're going to click download the complete pack. Now it's six gigabyte, which is a lot, but it's worth it. So we click on that. Um, and then we keep going down here and then we find the link. And we click that again. It takes us to the link. And then it will download. It says you are downloading it. If it doesn't download, obviously you click here and it'll start it automatically. So you've downloaded the file that you want. Now you have to find it in your downloads folder. You click cut and then we come to find documents and sports interactive. It'll be a bit different on your guys, depending on what you were, how your computer set up. But I find mine in PC documents, sports interactive. And then we want to click on FM24, obviously. And then in this folder here, you guys will not have a graphics file. You will not have a folder. So make it, right click, new folder, call it graphics. We go into the graphics folder. Now what I've done is I've made separate folders inside there to keep everything neat and tidy. So I've been logos, kits and face back. So I'm going to go into logos, obviously. And then you guys are going to want to paste your file that you've just downloaded into the logos folder. Now what you'll see is it will be called FMG standard logos, but it won't look like a folder yet it will look like the three books one there. Ignore the mega pack on mine. It will it will, it will have the books at the side. So what you want to do on the books one that says FMG standard logos, you want to click it and extract here. Now, because it's a big file, it might take a while to extract again, depending on your processor or your computer. But after that's done, that is step two done. Just a quick one before I explain step three. If you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely fantastic. So the final step, we have loaded up Football Manager. I hope you have. And you guys will not see your logos, obviously, just yet. So we have to go to the FM button at the top. We click Preferences. And then once we're inside Preferences, we click Reset, Clear Cache, and then Yes. After that, we go to the top bar. We type in Reload, and then we click Enter. This screen should pop up, but you guys will not have this button ticked. So obviously, you need to tick it, and then you need to click Reload Skin. Once that's processed and come back on and refreshed, you guys should see your logos and that should be that. Very quick, very easy. Hopefully you guys have done that successfully. If you haven't, and we're going to try and figure it out in the comments, leave a comment. That'd be fantastic. I'll help you out. Like I said before, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.